Hi, this is Joachim for statisticsglobe.com and in this video I will show you how to remove a row from a data frame based on a condition. So in the video I'm going to show you several examples and all of these examples are based on the data frame that we can create with lines 2 to 4 of the code. So if you run these lines of code you will see that at the top right a new data frame object is created and we can also have a look at this data frame by clicking on the data object and then you will see that a new window appears, which is showing the structure of our data. As you can see, our data has five rows and three columns, x1, x2, and x3, whereby the first column is a numeric column and the second and the third column are factor columns. Now let's assume that we want to remove a particular row from this data frame. Then we can apply the code that you can see in line seven in the first example of our video. And in this example, I'm removing the second line of our data frame. So if we want to do that, we simply need to specify the name of our data frame. And then within the data frame, we need to specify a condition based on which we want to remove rows. And in this case, I'm specifying the condition that I only want to retain rows in the data frame where the column x1 is unequal to the value 2. So if you run this line of code, you will see at the bottom in the RStudio console that a new data frame is returned. And as you can see, this new data frame is consisting all the rows of our original data, but the second row. So in this example, I have shown you how to remove rows from a data frame based on a single condition. However, it is also possible to remove rows based on multiple conditions. And that is what I'm going to show you in example two of the video. So as you can see in line 10, again, we are specifying the name of our data frame. And then within the data frame, we are specifying two conditions separated by an end sign. So the first condition is exactly the same as in example one. Then we are writing this end sign and then we are specifying a second condition, which is that we only want to retain rows where the column X2 is unequal to the character string E. So if you run this line of code, you will see that another data frame is returned at the bottom in the RStudio console. And as you can see, this data consists of all rows where the column x1 is unequal to 2 and where the column x2 is unequal to e. So this is basically how to remove rows from a data frame based on multiple conditions. However, I want to show you another alternative on how to remove rows based on multiple conditions, which is based on a different type of code because this time we are removing rows based on the subset function. So as the name of the function says, the subset function is allowing for the subsetting of data. And within the subset function, we also need to specify the name of our data frame. Then we have to write a comma. And after the comma, we have to specify the conditions based on which we want to subset our data. So in this case, I'm using exactly the same conditions that I have already specified in example two of the video. And if you run this line of code, you will see that the output of example three is exactly the same as of example two. So in this video, you have learned multiple ways on how to remove rows from data frames in the R programming language. However, if you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage, statisticsglobe.com, because on the homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail, and I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video. Furthermore, if you have liked this video, I would be very happy if you leave me a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel in order to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time.